All right, so this is gonna be the grades video um, coming from my full application video where I just talk about the grades I got, the classes I took, and my GPA and everything, a little bit more in depth. So um, basically, these were my classes that I took that I put on my AirCAS application. This is what I submitted in 2019 to 2020 for that application cycle. And when you go through, you're going to put in your grades one at a time on your MCAS application. It takes a while. You know, you submit your transcripts, but like you also have to put them in one by one and then they verify with your transcripts when you're processing your application. So this part took a while. You, you know, I kind of spread it out maybe over like three or four days, just did a, com a couple semesters at a time. But yeah, it kind of took a while. So as you can see, 2014 is when I started undergrad, 2015. Kind of an average student, A minus in English. I was like, okay, now I know I don't want to do like you know English. Oh, what happened? Oh, here we go. And I took you know some other classes, and there's a lot of gen eds at the beginning. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and so I was just taking my gen ed that I knew were going to just be required no matter what degree I took. And uh, yeah, you're probably you're probably noticing the uh, the F. You know, uh, I talked about this in the other video. This, you know, that was rough. I I got the F, and I was like, I knew I was going to fail the class. There's Math 128. It was pre-calc trig. It was a five-credit class, which to get an F in five credits, like, that, that that hurts, hurts your GPA. My GPA for that semester, for freshman year, ended up being like a 2.71. It's further down. We'll see it later. But, yeah, that one hurt. And so... I retook it at, so that was 2014-2015, I retook it the next semester at a community college, you'll see here, 2015-2016, so that was spring, or fall, yeah, fall, and I retook it, got an A, didn't know it didn't cover up at my university, so I still had an A on my transcript, and in fact, my GPA, or I still had an F, and so I retook Math 128 again, for the third time, where is it? Here, 2016-2017. So I, I gave it a little break and took it again, got an A. And that was around the time I knew I wanted to be, I thought I wanted to be a physical therapist. I mean, that's what you'll see a lot. I did a kinesiology degree. I did a lot of like pre-physical therapy classes. And oh my gosh, that's like 15 credits worth of the same class. Probably one of my biggest hiccups in my grades for undergrad. Like, you know, I'm glad I came out on top. I'm glad I like pushed through and came back and like got the A, but my gosh, like if I had just passed it the first time, it would have been nice. But you know what? That's something you learn. That's what I'm going to be honest about with this channel is like, you know, do, you know, do your best. And if you fail something, don't let it discourage you. You can still get into medical school. You can still do what you want to do. You know, just assess, you know, and, you know, take some time to figure out what went wrong. I used to blame the professor. I, used to, I was like, the professor's terrible and he doesn't teach math. But, you know, I, I could have studied more. I should have studied more. And it, show that when I did, I did well and I did better. And so, yeah, that's that was the biggest takeaway from that experience. But anyway, you'll see a lot of kinesiology on here. I decided to do a kinesiology degree because I uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do at first. I thought I knew I liked, I liked athletics and I, I was a tumbler. I am. I'm a tumbler tricker. And so I knew I wanted to do something with movement, the human body, some sort of thing. So kinesiology was very fitting and I do not regret it whatsoever. I got to learn so much about how the human body works. Anatomy and physiology is just drilled into you. You know, it's like it's like one of your first classes you have to take as a kin major, and it's like drilled into you. And then you have to know it for your upper division classes. Like you'll see, you know, I did gen eds, decided I wanted to do kin, and so I was required to do bio two two three and bio two two four, which is anatomy and physiology one, anatomy and physiology two, and they both have lab components as well. And then after that. You take classes like exercise physiology, there's anatomical kinesiology, there's motor control and learning, there's athletic training, uh, there's management of sports and sports trauma slash illnesses, introduction to physical therapy, this was an elective, motor development across the lifespan, biomechanics, biomechanics of endurance performance, physical activity and aging. So uh, basically, that's me just trying to run the point home that I did a lot of anatomy physiology in my undergrad and I got like, you know, reasonably good at A&P. And that's like one of the main reasons I'm so happy I did a kin degree because I feel like I really learned, got to learn the human body and how it works. And I'm gonna have to know that for medical school. 
and also like really solidified the fact that I want to become a doctor. Like uh, I took classes such as sports injury management, Sim 150. That was the management of sports trauma slash illnesses. And in that class, I had a practical where I had to do a neuro exam. You know, I had to do all the nerves. You know, you, you assess the nerves, uh, you know, kind of like concussion testing. I had to do some spine boarding. We earned a CPR certification through that class through the American Heart Association. Um, you know, I had other classes where you apply anatomy to physics, like biomechanics. I had a year of that, a year of biomechanics, and that also led me to do research uh, because of those classes. I, um, you know, learned introduction, oh, that's human anatomy. But basically, you know, again, what I'm trying to hit the point across is that you don't have to do a bio major if you don't want to. I wish I took more bio classes in my elective slots. Um, I think that's definitely a weakness on my application, but I do not regret doing CAN. I really, it really solidified that I wanted to become a doctor, and I got to learn a lot about AMP, and hopefully that helps me a lot with, um, you know, anatomy and physiology when I get into when I start med school this year. And so, yeah, and that's you'll see. That's why my grades are getting better. Like I was like a B average student, and then a DF, and then B still. And then you see, I start taking these CAN classes, CAN, CAN, sports injury management. I'm starting to get A's, and. I liked it, and that's that speaks a lot to like you know you'll do better in classes that you really thoroughly enjoy, and I really did like look at all these kins, and as around that time that I started taking my bios and chems, I thought I want to do physical therapy, so those require um, a bio and gen chem, but it kind of worked out because I ended up going to pre med, and then I just tacked on ochem, and you'll see I got you know I aced ochem. In fact, I clicked with ochem. I would say I, you know, was always afraid of ochem. That's part of the reason I was initially pre physical therapy because I was like, oh, you don't have to take OCHEM for physical therapy. And then I was like, I don't want to be a doctor. I'm gonna, this is a mistake. I'm going to fail OCHEM, ruin my hard work and getting the A's up until then. But I, I clicked with OCHEM and I studied hard, re reasonably hard for it. I did everything I thought I would have to do to get an A in that class, and I did. And it wasn't even like I kind of got an A. Like I got an A on every single exam, even like the class averages were like a 50%. And it's not like a flex. I just did what I thought I had to do to study for that class. And that's kind of what I always tell people is like, you know, study the way you think you're supposed to study for this class and what you would tell other people to do studying for this class. And it built good study habits overall. So that was a huge accomplishment for me it was getting A's in OCHEM. Um, you know, that really solidified that I was working harder and I was becoming more studious and academically focused and, you know, uh, got A's in physics, which coming from the F in, uh, you know, pre-calc trig, the prereq for physics, like, that, that was a big deal. Like, I was like, man, I failed math. Let's do physics now. And it, it worked out. And a lot of it had to do with me knowing what I wanted to do, becoming a doctor. Um, and so that's, you know, find that motivation in yourself and your grades because, you know, you'll see this progression. I'm really proud of this, honestly, and I was – you know, I tell people, like, don't let the current you, you know, shield yourself from what you want to become because you can you can make adjustments and you can adapt and you can work harder. And, you know, this, you know, A minus B average F, you know, grades is a reflection of that, you know, all the way into A's. A my, my last A minus was in Spanish, which oh so close to an A, really close to an A. I was pretty bummed. But, you know, I got better. And I knew what I wanted to do, and I worked harder. And so uh, I really enjoyed those classes of note. Um, the anatomy and physiology were my favorites. Kins, lo every kin class I took, I loved it. Never hated going to kinesiology class. Loved all of them. Um, I got to do like VO2 max tests. Um, physics, I didn't love. No one loves physics, but, you know, I did it. And then, yeah, so... Honestly, like I really enjoyed my undergrad performance uh, overall towards the end, especially. And my only regret is again, I wish I'd take more bio classes, if anything, just to reflect on my application, not out, of, not really out of self interest. But uh, I could, I had, I could have done that with more elective slots. And there's probably classes in here I probably didn't need to take, but I, I couldn't have known at the time. That was the thing you, you don't know at the time. I thought I wanted to do physical therapy, so I took like physical therapy classes. But you know that's okay. I, I still look back pretty fondly over my undergrad classes. Uh, biochemistry, getting biochemistry is amazing because <laughs> you go through like OCHEM and GenChem and you know intro bio and you're like oh like let's put it all together please and then you finally put it all together in biochem so it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, and then I did research and yeah, 
So you here you'll see the two schools I did all my classes at. You have to put all the institutions that you take any credits at. So I had to put both of them because I took that one Math 128 class at the community college. Again, didn't know it didn't cover my university grade. I know now. So if you don't know that, you know, now you do. And so here's the GPA and the numbers. And so uh, you can see freshman year, I don't really know what these stand for, honestly. It probably says somewhere. Um, but we'll just look at total. And so freshman year, my GPA was 3.71. Not surprising with that five credit F. Um, sophomore, 3.68 kicked it up a notch I was like we're not nope not dealing with that junior year 3.90 and probably got an A minus or something I don't know I guess and senior year kicked it you know kicked that 4.0 really really worked harder um, and then cumulative application was 3.66 and you can definitely tell where my uh, GPA got affected it was that freshman year but you know going from a 2.71 to a 3.66 I'm proud of I worked hard um, and I got it up and I, you know, I, I wouldn't, I, I could sit here and mope about it and wish I could go back in time and fix it, but I can't, but I feel like it led a lot to my development and to where I am now. And so anyway, uh, 3.66 was my cumulative GPA. My science GPA was a 3.91, which is pretty good. Um, and that's because I did well in stuff like my OCHEMs and physics and all that. 3.91 was reflected in my sciences, which was around the time I knew what I wanted to do. So really happy with that really 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 happy with that so yeah and then you could just tack on the MCAT score it's 507 but anyway that's kind of it for my grades if you if you have any um, questions about my classes and the ones I took and why I like certain classes and any recommendations or anything uh, yeah let me know in the comments below but I'll make another one another video right now about my clinical experiences and or uh, extra, uh, what is it called extracurriculars and experiences so anyway thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time